Hola a todos, bienvenido a Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called String Operators, and in this video we're going to be adding another operator to our arsenal of PHP awesomeness. Let's do this! Sorry about that. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 17 string operators. In your code editor, be sure to open up final and practice.php in the 17 string operators folder within your code dynamic websites course files folder. Practice.php as usual will be the sandbox that we will use to build file.php. Final example looks like this. Boom, concatenation operator. Hola mi amigos, concatenating assignment operator. Hola mi amigos. I hope that didn't really make sense. But anyway, we're going to be using the concatenation operator and the concatenating assignment operator. They sound like a mouthful, but they're actually quite simple, very useful. Let's jump into the lecture. Explosion sound. Like I said, this one is nice and simple. There are only two string operators. The first one is called the concatenation operator. It looks a little bit like this, like a dot or a period, which combines the value of the right argument with the left argument. So let's look at it like this. So we have variable A. We're assigning hola, notice the space, and then we have the B variable, and we're assigning A. So we're assigning the value of A, which is hola, with the space, and then we're using the concatenation operator. And then afterwards, we have another string of text that says mi amigos. So if I echo B, it will print or echo, hola, mi, amigos. See how that works? So basically, the concatenation operator will assign the value afterwards to the variable before it. So you see here, like I already showed you, we got variable b, the value is a, and mi, amigos. So we're assigning this or tacking this onto the end of this string. So it's creating a new string itself, which prints hola, mi, amigos. So the second operator is the concatenating assignment operator. Looks like this, a period and an equal sign, which appends the value in the right with the value in the left, like this. So it's basically a simpler version of the top. So variable A is hola with a space. We're also doing another one here, just A, variable A, but instead of just the equal sign, we're adding the concatenating assignment operator. So period and equal sign, mi amigos. So instead of just rewriting the variable, because if you were to just write a twice, and then the, basically the second uh, instance of this variable and the value of, of the variable, it's going to overwrite the first one. But in this case, it's going to append the value to the initial or the first variable. So a, echo a. This prints, hola, mi amigos. So the concatenating assignment operator is considered an assignment operator, which we'll be learning more about in the next lecture. But for now, we're just going to play with these two. So let's jump into our code editor. Spinning effect. All right, like usual, let's add all the old cleanup stuff, constants and variables and so on and so forth. Take a couple moments to do that. We've got the title. we got our custom variables, your name and lesson number. Feel free to zip through this part if you've already done it, or if you just want to keep practicing, that's cool. I'm just going to be doing this. I'm going to add the title down here again. Boom, lesson number, PHP, echo. Let's echo that lesson number. Save that down to the year. PHP echo date. Why? Oh, why? There it is. Okay, and my name using the variable that I set PHP echo my name. Boom, done. Sweet, that was fast. All right, now to the good stuff. Let's go to the sandbox. The concatenation operator. Let's do it. Let's add a couple variables in here. So we're going to ha have A equals hola with a space. B equals mi amigos. And then C is equal to A concatenation operator B. Now let's echo C. See what that looks like. Make sure to check it out and practice that PHP. Hola, mi amigos. Now let's just try a little something out here. Let's take the space away. What does that do? Save it, check it out. No 
space. See how it has no space in between here? It's because this was the first variable, this is the second, we didn't add a space in either. Notice that this doesn't matter if there's any spaces here or not, it doesn't add any spaces. Nothing happens. However, if you were to add a space in the second one beforehand, that works as well. But you need to make sure to have a space somewhere. So that's the concatenation operator. Let's try the concatenating assignment operator. So we got variable a is equal to hola space b, sorry, a concatenating assignment operator, mi amigos. And now let's echo a. There we go. See what it does. Hola, mi amigos. Let's try something interesting here. Watch this. What if I didn't want to just set the variables and write three lines of code like this? What if I wanted to just minimize it a bit? So let's try it out. Watch this. Let's echo a concatenating assignment operator. Mi amigos. Let's get rid of the second one. So I just minimized the line there. Let's see what that does. Same thing. I just took out a line. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the concatenation operator and the concatenating assignment operator. It's very simple. Feel free to try them out with different variables, numbers, strings, all that sort of good stuff. The swipe effect. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to learn about some assignment operators, which are pretty awesome. See you there. When the moon hits your eyes like a giant pizza pie, that's amore. Oh, this thing's still on.